Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I am going to share a flip of this um, Japanese colouring book. I'm not sure what it translates as but um, I just call it the Townscapes colouring book and um, yeah it's I got it from Amazon Japan. Here is the ISBN number if you are interested. Um, just got that information there for you but you will find it on Amazon Japan so it's um, a lovely book it's actually one of my favorite coloring books and um, I was asked if I would do a flip of this coloring book so I thought why not because it is my one of my favorite coloring books and I thought I'd show you all my complete pages in it so there is this sleeve um, and then there's a cardboard sort of glossy cover as well um, so the full sleeve like that and then you've got the colouring book so that's what it looks like at the back and then there's this sort of um, other page here which I don't know how to describe it really actually a couple of pages it's actually got some little town like pictures on it it's just weird paper it's not it's like got this glossy film on it, so it's not like colourable. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, so yeah, you've got it at the front as well, sort of these two sort of glossy pages with little buildings on. And then we've got the tile page as well, and these cute little um, houses. And then that here on this side um, are some little pictures, photos, maybe these are the, I don't know, these the publishers or authors, not sure because obviously it's in Japanese, but yeah some little coloured examples and then some coloured examples of little bits, oh, beautifully coloured, I wish I could colour like that. It's so really nice. So it's got little inspiration uh, pieces in here at the front, which the Japanese colouring books usually do. And then we've got this like colour palette. So it gives you some ideas. I think these are Holbein. I'm not sure. They look like Holbeins. And then some more little information, colouring tips, I presume. And then we have this beautiful coloured page of one of the pictures in here it's like a art page, arty page and then we've got some more colouring tips I think it's quite a, um, quite a big sort of sized landscape colouring book this and then some more tutorial type pages again I'm not sure what it says I don't read Japanese and then we've got the little pictures which are really useful of coloured versions of the pages in here which are immensely useful because they're very good for providing inspiration um, so really really pretty prints these these are some good inspiration pictures for when you tackle a particular page in here so this is a very very detailed colouring book so if you are not keen on um, detail, then this book won't be for you. However, I really like using lots of different mediums in here, like ink tents, watercolour, alcohol markers, pencil, gel pens, fine liners in particular, because of course for the small spaces, fine liners are absolutely wonderful. So yeah, got full selection of coloured um, images here to give you inspiration and then we come on to the actual colouring pages so this is the art ship one that we had a full um, a full page of so that you could do it exactly the same if you wanted or use some ideas from it but yeah really nice single sided so you can actually use alcohol marker the paper is um, obviously thicker than Amazon printed paper um, not as thick as Johanna Basford paper, I'd say, um, but still decent enough for you to use 
um, a number of different mediums, I would say, because I've still used ink tents um, for, and watercolour for the backgrounds in this book, as you will see. And then we have this. There's just so much detail in it. Um, it's just beautiful. I, I really like this book. That's why I've got a second copy, because um, I can see myself doing these pages again and again. A little shark there roaming about, and I like these gears and things because it reminds me of steampunk, which I quite like that style. And we've got these strawberries, and hopefully, one day I'll finish this book. Um, so, this was a page that I completed. Gosh, I can't remember now because I don't think I've got a date. Oh, yeah, I've got a date at the side. Um, 5th of May 2023. So here I used alcohol markers as you can see on the other side. I used different um, shades of alcohol markers and then I tried to use a little bit of shading. I think I used my Spectrum Noir Tri Blends. Pencil of course, um, metallic paint at the bottom there, um, the watercolour and it did crinkle fair bit but it it was all right after a while and then my metallic paints gel pen lots of gel pen up here as well um just my usual stuff really but yeah i really really like this page i, I just yeah i really like it it's a really nice spring page and then we've got this mushroom page which i haven't tackled yet maybe one day But yeah, th these pages do take time because um, they are very detailed. This is an ocean one. Now, I have thought about doing this one several times. But I'm not exactly sure what to do with this background because there's just so many little bits. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of medium to use in the background. You could use alcohol marker, a light alcohol marker, light blue and then use shading with watercolour or pencil on top, I suppose. And then these, you could go put the white back in using a white Posca. It's a possibility, I, I presume. But yeah, quite like that one as well. In fact, I like all the pages in here. Then there's this one, which looks like it's got like plant life, herbs, sort of herbs and those sort of things, spices type, type thing, I don't know. But yeah, that's a really, really detailed one as well. And then this is another one that I did. This one was done, I think, in Halloween time. I think this was a buddy, a buddy page, if I remember correctly. Um, and I've used pencil, um, especially for this brick effect here. And um, yeah, I really like the green. I think that was ink tense. I, I wanted a really sharp, bright, um, sharp bright greens and I think I managed that with that little bit of background and then with some brown and brown as well in the background and you know the pumpkins obviously oranges so I quite like doing this one I have to say and I did sort of a, um, a galaxy type background in this window some black uh, Sakura jelly roll glaze because that pen is beautiful and glossy but yeah I quite like how this has come out this is probably one of my faves in here and then we've got these jars and strange things. Also, you might be able to let me know, that would is there an app available where you could sort of uh, use your camera and then it would translate this? Because I'm not very um, uh, familiar with what's available really in the, you know, digital marketplace, I suppose. But yeah. Because that would be really interesting to know what what it says in Japanese um, under each of these pictures. Because that might provide some ideas regarding how I'll colour it. Then I've got this. So tiny. Look at some of the tiny, tiny, tiny detail. So for those, I'd, I'd just use fine liner. I'd use fine liner and very fine gel pen. Because the detail in these is absolutely tiny. Um... And then you could use some really nice neon clouds. 
this is my latest one that I've done in here and I quite like it I have to say I did um, a two layers of new color two was it Neocolor? no sorry ink tents it was ink tents pencils so two layers of the ink tents pencils was it gosh I can't remember anything yes I think it was two layers of it was either ink tents or it was a new color two I just cannot remember um, which one it was but it was one of those and then I've got some metallic uh, paints of course um, fine liners gel pens the uniball metallics the signal uniball signal metallic and and then I've got some watercolor glitter paint and I did use alcohol marker for the clouds as you can see and I wanted like a blue orange and green theme going on um, and so those are the colour palette I use but yeah this is one of my favourites and then silver gel pen as well in the background there that was my November one of my November pages this is immensely detailed it's like a bookshelf lots and lots of books amazing place so that would absolutely take ages and then we've got a one that looks like this it's more you know vertical image rather than horizontal um, but yeah I really like this one as well I like the little clocks all the little clocks um, that's one that I might do at some point and then we have another vertical one so oops Let's see if you can see it all here so this one is like I don't know it looks like a bit like a big building doesn't it and then look you've got some clothing here um, yeah it looks like a big building and then you've got some balloons some actually hot air balloons as well and then a little dinosaur in there so yeah quite like that one is it a dinosaur? It could be a dragon, I'm not sure. Um, and then we have this one. A couple of mice inside the airship. This is another one that I really like. Again, this would take absolutely ages. I think I need to start on this book again in January because I think I'm going to give it a break during December. Um, and then this is another one that I did. I think this was a buddy colour as well. Um really fun to do can't remember the mediums are used because i don't really write them down i know that here i will have used the uniball uniball silver gel pen and then this was the first page i ever did in this book which was of course the lab scene one of my favorite pictures of all time and then there's a not a blackboard but a green board but yeah i quite like this page i like how i've done it um a coloured near three version of this to go up in my classroom and then this is another one quite like this one I think I used pencil for the background absolutely took ages I think I used the Derwent light fast um, yeah Derwent light fast I really like how this one's come out it's one that I completed 2023 in June and I like the metallic paints that I've put in is it a geode? I think it's a geode. And then we've got some more little pictures. Again, um, I think these are, th are these some sort of, um, I don't know, metal ores or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. It says some stuff in. It says like a formula here, CaCO3, it's calcium carbonate, silicon 4 oxide. So it's, yeah, oh, there's a chemical formula here as well. That's actually quite cool. It's a pyrite. Oh, oh, a bit of chemistry on this page. So yeah, quite like that one. And then this one, I've had my eye on this one for a while. I have to think about what kind of background to do. So this is less detailed than the other ones. 
take less time and then this was another one that I've done now this one the background is a little bit patchy because I don't think I did two layers of um, ink tents and not this glitter here has gone everywhere which is highly annoying actually do you know what it is oh I've just seen it now it's actually some of the paint some of the glitters actually rubbed off which isn't something that's I've, I've noticed has happened before um, I, what, I think that I can't remember which paint that is but yeah you can see it's actually come off here at the bottom which is a bit disappointing um, that's not something that happens with I've not noticed that that happens with many of my paints I can't, I'm not sure which paint it was I can't remember and I don't want to say which paint it was if it wasn't that so yeah i'll have to go over that with a silver i think with another silver um i know that the art spirits ones does not rub off though so yeah i might have to go over that with tin man or or true silver or something but yeah the ink tents in the background needs another layer really um it's a little bit patchy but i do like the rest of the page i think it's quite nice and i and i can see myself doing this page again I should really put like I don't know I don't know why that's happened but yeah oh well um, and then we have this page got to say this is not my favorite one it's just a bunch of houses and then these weird flowers but and then this weird I don't know checkered thing so I'm not quite this is probably my least favorite page in the book um, this one I really like I quite like this one I like how I've done the bricks I really like how I've used um, some gel pen to do these leaves and I wanted it to stand out against the blue. I quite like how I've done the blue background as well. So I did have an alcohol base for the blue and then I think I used probably watercolour pencil or even just pencil as shading some Scura Jelly Roll glaze on this fence. And that's it. That's the book. So yeah, one of my favourite books. You can purchase it from the Amazon Japan. I'll try to put a link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed that short flip and my completed pages in it. Until next time, guys, take care. Happy colouring. Bye.